France says it will begin withdrawing its troops from Niger this week. The French army is expected to complete the withdrawal by the end of the year. President Emmanuel Macron announced the decision 10 days ago after mass protests in Niger calling for the French ambassador and all its troops to leave. French soldiers were there as part of the fight against armed groups across the Sahel region. Well, we're joined on set by correspondent Nicholas Haack, who has covered the story extensively for us. Nicholas, the country is still reeling, isn't it, from a brutal attack that took place just a few days ago. It shows just how challenging this fight is against armed groups. It is really challenging. It's going to be even more challenging in the days to come when we'll see all the French soldiers leave the country. Now, this operation to, uh, to leave the country um, started early this morning, Malina, around 4 a.m., and it started with these two battalions of French forces that are based in Walam and in Taba, Tabare Bare, which is by the Niger-Mali border, an area where there's attacks from armed groups linked to the ISIL affiliate in the area called the Islamic State in the Greater Sahara. Now, they were there previous to the coup as part of an operation called Operation Almau, helping Niger's forces to uh, fight off these armed groups. Now, it's interesting that you mentioned this attack that happened a few days ago because it happens, it happened just kilometers away from where the French forces were. And in normal circumstances, they would have helped Niger's forces to counter the attack. But because those military ties have been cut, they're now heading home. So they're going to be taking a road journey to Niamey in, in the hours to come. It's just a, a hundred kilometers long, very short, but high in risk. It's very dangerous. So it's going to take two days for them to get there. And then um, they'll board a plane, according to Paris, and head back straight to France. But still, there'll be still a thousand soldiers on the ground that will have to leave the country before the end of the year. So, Nicholas, where does this leave Niger and its... Uh, security situation? Well, I've been, be, been making a few calls in Niger to find out what has been the reaction of people there. Now, of course, there's the diplomatic and the, 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 the kind of state uh, reaction from the junta, who have essentially said no comment, we're happy for them to leave. And the withdrawal period, which is f before the end of the year, is not soon enough. They want them to go as soon as possible. But for the people in Niger, they have greater concerns because since this coup happened, Electricity is cut. They have very little access to water. This is already a country where most people live on less than $2 a day. And so the sanctions put in place by the international community seems to be biding this, this, this country. This country, which is extraordinary because it is extremely rich in uranium. Uranium used to power the nuclear power plants in Europe that keeps Europeans warm in a country, Niger, where most people live on less than $2 a day. So their concern is the economy and trying to uh, set that back into motion. Okay, thank you for that. Nicholas Hack uh, here in the studio with us.